It's been seven hours and fifteen days. Wow, this is four years ago. Since you took your love away. Wagwa well, well, people names. Uh, so welcome to Room 2703. I'm Luke. Um, it's, it, you know, it's really amazing. I've only recently started doing this like this new intro, right? Um, because I just figured that everyone knew that my name was Luke. <laughs> um, but I can see like in the comments that people are like, ah, oh, I've just been calling you Room. <laughs> Room to seven <laughs> So yeah, my name's Luke. <laughs> Welcome. Um, and this is a space for me to react to all the things that I enjoy, like some music, movies, anime, TV series, things that you request for me to react to. Um, so uh, yeah, I hope that you find something to enjoy along with me. Um, so we're in Grammy season right now. Um, and obviously I had uh, some updates as to who's won what and who performed where and whatever. Um, it's really difficult to find any performances, um, like good quality ones. And I guess it's because it hasn't aired yet. It was, it was just yes, yesterday, right? So it hasn't aired. That being said though, there are definitely some clips because I know that um, like on Instagram, something came up with Fantasia, which I immediately dived off. I'm like, nope, I will react to this. Um, so I was looking for uh, Annie Lennox uh, performing um, "Nothing Compares to You" in tribute to Sinead O'Connor, um, and uh, and, the, and and her obviously passing last year. Um, but I can't find it. So instead, what I'm going to do until that presents itself um, is I'm going to actually watch Sinead O'Connor performing "Nothing Compares to You." Now I've only started to delve into Prince recently. So I never, I could never tell, cause I knew that, I knew that Prince had a version of this song. Um, but I always remember seeing Sinead O'Connor like with this, with like the shaved hair and, um, and uh, that video, like it wasn't black and white, but that's the, that's the nothing that compares to you that I remember uh, growing up and stuff. So it's been really interesting to kind of delve into obviously Prince and he and it actually he, it being his song. <laughs> um, so yeah, very keen to kind of see what this performance was like, uh, as I say, until we get to see um, uh, Annie Lennox. So let's have a look. It's been seven hours and 15 days. Wow, this is four years ago. Since you took your love away. You've been gone, I can do whatever I want. I can see whomever I choose. Mm. And I can even eat my dinner in a fancy restaurant. But nothing, I said nothing can. Good blend of um, techniques she's using there to get that sound out. Baby 
voice. That kind of airy part of her voice. Again, the belt part of her voice. This is pretty awesome, like a full like orchestra in the back and stuff. Somebody hear that note. Nothing compares. Nothing compares I haven't done compare that note I mean, again, I don't know. I know that um, uh, Shanae can't respond to my stuff. Okay, I'm gonna just quickly press on that. Well, before I do that, um, because whilst I was looking for this, I did see something that says that um, Miley Cyrus had something to say about Sinead O'Connor, um, but I don't really know what that's about. Um, and then I've just seen it, but I thought it was just something fake. Um, but then to see that that says Sinead O'Connor responds to Miley Cyrus on the Late Late Show, um, just, yeah, I'm keen to find out what that might be about. Um, I, again, I don't know, what, I, I know that she's like an activist and stuff, um, and I know that she has, um, you know, uh, stood up for, I'm not even sure what what particular thing she stood up for, but when I think of Sinead O'Connor, that's what comes up in my head. Um, and um, even from how she's dressed, I'm like, I don't know if that's like a religious thing or just a stylized thing, but I, but I presume there's some kind of religious element to that, perhaps. Um, the performance itself I thought was actually really cool. It was a, a little bit different, a little bit stoic, I would have said, because the you know, she didn't like move around the stage or anything like that. Um her eyes were closed the whole way through. Um until the very end when the camera came up to her and she was like, Hey <laughs> I thought that was quite cool. Um I think her tone sounded really nice in it, like and um and she's got that kind of really powerful belt, like, um and then those very, very airy tones and very like um, you know, so that, that kind of head and chest voice that she utilizes them quite well. Uh, I could hear the kind of Irishy twang in her um in some of her pronunciations and stuff and that was quite cool. And uh, kind of felt a little folksy at times, so I thought it was quite nice. Yeah, very, very, very different to um the Prince version that I heard um with um yeah, Rosie Gaines. Um very, very different. Um I even though Prince and Rosie I think there was even you know, it was 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 even more soulful, really. Like um, for me, um, 
but I liked this version too. Like it was kind of like a stripped back, like very vulnerable. Um, I felt this would have left anyone's vocals singing the way that Sinead's singing it. Um, but I loved the strings in the back um, and just just a very a, a very different take on the song. But uh, I thought it was really cool. Um, I'm really interested to find out what she uh, what she responded to Miley with. So just bear with me. <laughs> I don't know what. Maybe we should find out what Miley said first and then see what the response is. So let me just have a look. Am I missing something here? Like, did, was there some kind of like a major issue between the two of them? Shane recalls her advice and Miley Cyrus about wrecking ball and nothing compares to you. Open letter penned by Sinead O'Connor to Miley Cyrus in 2013. Not me having the wrong friggin' headphones on. Goes viral. Following her death. Oh. Okay, I'm now going to watch that clip about her responding to Maya Cyrus to see what she said. Not what you were, you were writing in that, in that letter, which was... Yeah. No, but it seemed to be, from, from reading it again today, you, you seemed to be saying, look, you're young, you're, you seem to be a bit impressionable or you're a bit in trouble at the moment. Be careful. You seem to be kind of reaching a hand out, actually, when you wrote that letter and said, look, be careful, look after yourself. I've been down this road. I know what it's like. Don't give in to the corporate head the balls. That's well, what you seem yeah, to be saying. Am I yeah. right in saying that? Well, yeah. But at this stage, I think if we have nine or so minutes to talk on here, I think the important thing to say is that there's a certain alarm needs to get rung. And I know that a lot of musicians around the country and around the world will agree. Music is being murdered. Rock and roll is being murdered. The power of rock and roll to change things uh, or to move people is being murdered by all of this worship of fame, pop idol, X Factor, all of this stuff. People, you know, people like Simon Cowell and Louis Walsh, who doesn't even know how to burn a CD as of the last time I saw him, um, mm -hmm. deciding what records should sound like and, and deciding who gets to be famous and who doesn't. Okay, so what about, you know, the, let's say all the people so, who buy, say, Westlife or, again, One Direction, listen, watching tonight and going, oh, but Sinead, like, I really love their music. So you well, might like, might be cool enough for, for you, that's but I not, love That's it. not the point I'm making. In fact, I quite clearly said I don't... But you're saying they're murdering the music. I, I'm saying that it, why I got involved in the issue of whether or not it's appropriate for 20-year-old women to be asked to lick sledgehammers in, in videos for songs that have no lyrical reference to any such thing in them, um, is, is I would see as an exploitation of somebody who's possibly a little too young to understand the dangers of allowing oneself to be exploited in that way. Do you know what? It's so interesting, and I say this all the time. I think I think I wrote this back to, I think it was Sherry. Um, um, I was uh, messaging back on my Patreon. It's so interesting just to like have a bit of context around things because when you don't have that, like I've never heard Janelle kind of speak like at all. Um, and actually, when I first saw that clip there of uh, of her saying about you know the, the potential prostitution of da 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 da, I was a bit like. A bit close, uh, 
Do you know her personally? Um, and I, I, you know, and for me, I think if I received something like that, I think my back would be up as well, being like, so you. You're calling me a hoe, <laughs> Miss Lady. Um, but actually listening to what she's saying, like, because ultimately, yeah, everyone is free to express themselves however they want at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I think, you know, as um, parents or whatever else, everyone's got a responsibility about what is coming into their household and it's going to affect their kids. Like, I'm not, I, don't, I don't hold celebrities probably to the same account as everyone else. They're like, you know, you need to do better because my kids, well, you know, like I'm hoping that if, if and when I do have kids, like I'm going to, you know, make sure that I'm responsible for what it is that they see and what they don't see as much as I can. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I feel like um, what what Sinead's saying there isn't so much that, you know, you are a, a hoe. <laughs> like, I think what she's saying there is the things that you are potentially doing, like, you, you've you brought, uh, Miley brought her into the equation by being like, I've been inspired by your video. So she's probably been like, you've been one of my idols. I love this video. I love the whole crying into the camera thing with the fact like, so I'm just letting you know where that inspiration came from. So by involving her name into it publicly, like, she's probably going, well, do you know what? Let me say, let me, let me, let me say my piece. Do you know what I mean, like, I, I wasn't in this. Now why am I in it? <laughs> why am I in it? Now because you've now made me in it. Let me say what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is, be conscious and be careful. Um, and actually, having seen all this kind of Harvey Weinstein stuff and all the stuff that's kind of coming out about some of these aspects of of Hollywood and all this stuff that's coming out about allegedly. Anyway, when it comes to like Diddy and stuff, like I, I can understand why somebody who's probably been in the industry for a lot longer would say, "Yo, be careful," because because that is a good point. I've, I've never really watched the Wrecking Ball video, so um, but I did see a clip of uh, just just then uh, of Miley licking whatever that was she was licking. So I can understand why she's like, you know, what 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 context has that got to anything of what you're doing apart from like sexualizing something do you know what I mean and as we all know sex sells do you know what I mean so I can understand why I mean even like looking at Sinead O'Connor sat on that on on in that chair um you know in comparison to what is deemed sexual and da, 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 like that, that she's not she's not presenting that is she there so I can understand that that is one of her core and then particularly the performance I've just seen like you know, though that's a, that's obviously like a core value to her. Um, and in the, the day, like people can take or leave your advice on it. Like so, it's not to say that like uh, she can pick it up and I'll drop it down. Like, but I think she felt from what she's saying, she just felt that she could pass on some of her pearly words of wisdom to someone that may need it. I don't know. Um, but I'd love to know what you guys thought of that. I didn't know there was any kind of Miley Sinead all kind of instances of anything. So that's actually just been really interesting to to, to see what that was all about. But um, but yeah, back to her performance though. I thought it was great. I thought it was really good. Uh, considering it was uh, however many years later than when she brought that song out uh, as well, it's still awesome to see her like, you know, kind of smashing it really live. So that was really cool. Uh, but what were your thoughts? What were your thoughts about the song? And uh, what were your thoughts about the com um, the version in comparison to Prince's uh, original? Um, any thoughts about this whole minor situation? Like, I'd be very keen to know what other people think. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this, then please do drop me a like and subscribe. That would be amazing. Um, I do, um, I'm, I'm doing this full time now. So any support at all would be great. Uh, I've got a super thanks set up. So you can set up a, send a super thanks if you like. Uh, big, small, little, like whatever you want. <laughs> uh, and I've also got my uh, YouTube membership uh, as well as my Patreon membership as well. So um, these are options for you if you want to be, you you know, um, sign up to see more of me <laughs> and get access to my videos before they um, come onto YouTube, some of which will never come onto YouTube. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a great way to support the channel. So hopefully I will see you on the next. All right. <laughs>